Welcome back to another video, you guys. Now, about three months ago, we showed you our annual Malaysia import, and today we are gonna show you a bit of the process for our annual Malaysia export, USA to Malaysia. So the first step in the process is to have our animals inspected by a USDA certified veterinarian. He is going to give us the health certificate. This certificate is required for export. So we have our animals here, we are bringing them inside. He's gonna take them out and look at them and we will show you what we can of that. He uh, allowed us to film bef in the past anyway. And so we'll see if he's cool about it this time. If he is, you'll see it. If he isn't, we'll just move along to the next step. But our appointment is like in five minutes, so let's get going. Okay, you guys, so that is done. Phase one complete, we have our health certificates. And if I have any Malaysian hobbyists that are watching and you saw any of the corn snakes, of course we didn't show you all, there's a lot. But um, crested geckos, gargoyle geckos, all that kind of stuff. If you saw anything or you think that you may be interested in any of that, please reach out to me and I will put you guys in touch with where you can find those animals available. So that is done, you guys, and now we are at the final stages of our packing. This took four hours. I got up early this morning and of course we have to pack and the flight is leaving tonight, but it needs to undergo a fish and wildlife inspection and all that sort of thing. So basically we have insulated boxes. We're using these zipper nets. I think these are actually for washing like um, undergarments and things like that for your washing machine but uh, we use them we will put like stacks of cups as you see just in case there's any escapees or anything there's like a double containment these are all non-venomous snakes these are all corn snakes bull snakes and we have a couple big lichianus buried in there on the bottom the next box over this is basically the box that's going into our facility uh, diversions, Lata Fasciata, Cynodon, Beauty Rats, uh, King Rats, Jansenai, and there's one baby unicolor Kribo in here. So this particular box, Fish and Wildlife, has had issues in the past, or at least brought it up to me in the past, that they definitely want double containment on rear fang snakes. We also have to label the boxes with venomous labels, venomous 
venomous reptile warning labels, even for rear fang snakes. Just a couple of the inspectors have gotten on me about that. So now that is what we do all the time. So at the bottom of this box, I have all the rear fang snakes in a box in a box. And so they're, they're bagged in boxes. And then of course they're inside this box as well. So it's like triple containment, but um, anyway, they should be happy with that. And then in this box right here, this is all of our geckos. So we have crested chahua and gargoyles in here. And we're just putting the finishing touches on these boxes. We are gonna run one heat pack in each box. Um, don't want it to get too warm. We just want it to, the ambient just to be a little bit up from that freezing temperature that's on those airplanes. It is freezing, freezing cold. And we're putting three cryo packs in each box. Um, one will be kind of like a halfway between liquid and solid. So it'll be doing the job a little bit to buffer any higher temps in the meantime. And then by the time it gets on the plane, we're gonna have two full liquid cryo packs in here that will do a really good job absorbing any excess cold. And that is how we run it. And um, yeah, so we're gonna head to the airport next. And I don't think we'll be able to observe the inspection. We're not gonna hang around. We're just gonna drop it. We have to leave the boxes open when we drop them off because of course there's going to be an inspection and then our broker will seal the boxes and uh, get them to the uh, carrier and they will be on their way. Safe travels, you guys. I packed you as good as I possibly could. Three boxes. Uh, the middle box is super heavy, but um, the combined weight is well within uh, what I submitted for. So that is it. We'll see you guys in Malaysia and we will see you guys in Malaysia too at some point here in the near future. So this is the last really big task of our stateside visit. So see you at the airport. So that's going to pretty much do it for our export video. Hope you guys learned something and enjoyed watching some of the process. I got feedback from the Malaysia side. We have 16 new animals in our facility and all the animals traveled well. There were no delays along the way. Everything went like clockwork. Nothing got delayed or sat for any period of time and we lost no animals and all the animals arrived in good order. So that is always very, very good because Anytime you're involved in importing or exporting, you just never know how the carrier is gonna handle your freight. So we got really lucky. Uh, things are looking extremely empty. I'm unplugging units and we're just doing the last little bits. We're leaving very few animals behind. Um, we will see you next week. I'm going to do kind of our end of season wrap up before we jump on a plane and get out of here. So that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next week.